Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to do something a little bit different. So, I have been thinking about lots of things lately which have often got me sort of quite bogged down, quite low in mood. And then when something good comes along, I don't very often give it that much attention. Of course I enjoy it, and then for a while I'm sort of really having a nice time and I'm enjoying whatever good is going on in my life at that time, and then I'm back to thinking about the bad things and worrying about the next day. So my clip is all about today, almost like my... As you probably would have known, if you've watched quite a few of my clips on my channel now, I look to my YouTube channel as almost like a journal, and it's almost like a tool which is on my homepage. Um, I look to my YouTube channel as a tool to help me along the bumpy road of life with all sorts of things coming my way, whether it's good and bad. And pretty much, as you would have probably seen from some of my clips, if you do watch my channel, is over the last couple of months, I have had quite a, quite a difficult experience with a whole host of different emotions getting back on my feet from different health problems. But this is kind of me almost sort of... <laughs> In a way, it's how to how to deal with things. I am a natural warrior, and I fear sometimes that gets a little bit out of hand. And it's, for example, at work, I work in a very busy environment. In, in professional services, I work in a bank, and it can be very, very stressful, very full-on and very fast-paced, managing lots and lots of things all at once, managing multiple priorities, managing people's expectations, and, of course, having to hold a real strong knowledge of things as well. I worry, I get very stressed out about that. If something doesn't go my way, I worry about that. I worry I haven't done an exam on my accountancy. I worry, for example, if I haven't spoken to one of my members of my family for a long time, or if I haven't caught up with them. And I worry about how they're thinking. So you can probably tell already, worry, worry, worry. So in essence, what I'm doing is I'm concentrating on the bad things all the time, and I'm giving it so much acknowledgement and so much sort of effort. And when something good comes along, for example, if I have a really, really good day with my nan, who has Alzheimer's, bless her, and I'm very, very close with her, if we have a fantastic day with her, I only enjoy it very, very slightly or for a very short amount of time. And then I'm back to worrying about what happens next time, what happens next time if I see her, oh goodness, or I've, I've had a really good day at work, but I'm worrying about the next thing. I'm always thinking of the next bad thing ahead. And I thought to myself, this is a real, it's a, it's, it's kind of like a step, isn't it, which you have to sort of get into perspective. So this clip is all about me acknowledging that, talking about it, and hopefully going forward, just being able to work on it. Now, this isn't just going to go away overnight, but it's really, really important to concentrate and give just as much acknowledgement to the good things. And I don't often do that. I very, I, I very enjoy the things in my life. Of course I do. Absolutely. I love to travel. I love spending time with my family. I love doing my studying work and I love my job. But of course, a certain amount of stress and worry keeps us into good perspective and keeps us developing and keeps us moving on. But for me, I think I take it slightly overboard. And then I'm worrying about all these things all the time. And then when something good comes along, I enjoy it for the, probably the minimal amount of time. And I'm going to really try going forward to stop doing this because I've, I've picked this out in myself lately that I'm not I'm not enjoying enough of my life. And it's really, really easy to sort of say this, but I need to change because what's happening is when I'm worrying and I'm sort of getting quite anxious about things for the next day and the next day and the next day, I'm looking far, far too far ahead. And it's just like the weeks roll on by and now I get this awful, horrible anxiety sort of in my stomach, like a knotting sensation all the time. And it's where I'm worrying about most things. And then when something good comes along, everybody else around me and my family are enjoying it. But me, I'm enjoying it for a, a small amount of time, but it's like I still then got the stomach problem from the anxiety sort of to the things I've been worrying about prior to that. And I can actually see from recently when I've taken, when I've had pictures taken and things, um, whether I've been out for a day or whether I've been out with family or whether I've been doing something at work and it's meant to be quite fun and enjoyable. When I look back at the pictures, I can tell that I can almost tell that there's a lot of stress and worry on my face. And that seems strange, but believe you me, you can see and anybody who would be in a similar situation, you know what I'm talking about straight away. Whether it's a picture on your phone, whether it's something online, on social media, you'll just know. So this is all about it's so, so important to concentrate on the small things and if it's 
And it can literally be, can't it? It can be literally spending time with a loved one. It can literally be having a two, three week holiday if you're fortunate enough to have that. Or if you've accomplished a huge milestone in your career or in your studying. So that's what I need to start doing. So from, I'd say about the last week, I've been really trying to concentrate on that. How have I been doing it? So I've been really trying to concentrate on breathing exercises and sort of because sometimes I think an element with me is like panic that I'm panicking about things so and I, I don't want to use the term panic attack but it's kind of like I get myself in such a rut in such a worry of fear and panic my stomach starts churning and I feel really quite sick and really quite nauseous and it's and it's like what I've been starting to do this week is sort of just even when I've been thinking about things and just been really really overruling my mind I've been thinking okay right Bradley get it into perspective breathe in through your nose out through your mouth and of course I don't do it out loud like that but I do it really sort of so nobody else knows at all I'm really trying to bring myself down and mindfulness you may have seen from one of my clips before that a good image for me is when I was out one evening and I looked up at the night sky and it was a full moon with lots and lots of stars it was absolutely stunning um, and that I try and concentrate I, I try and look back on that image or if I can't find that image when I'm in a stress situation I try and think of like a happy place so like so like a, a real lovely lu luxurious holiday I've been on or a really lovely happy time with family when everybody's well and healthy or even like Christmas very often Christmas is so so important to me and I absolutely love it so I try and concentrate on those times and do you know what? this week I've slowly been starting to get things into perspective I'm starting to enjoy things more take for example today it's my mum's birthday today I absolutely think the world of her she's absolutely such an amazing special person I love her with all my heart and I'm really trying to just enjoy the small things and the whole sort of the whole time the whole experience and it's difficult when you're not used to doing it it doesn't come straight easy to you it's quite difficult but I'm really really working on that and I would say to anybody don't let weeks just roll on by where you're festering and worry and fear, the biggest part is acknowledging it, is absolutely acknowledging it. and small small changes make big differences and that's what I'm doing. So this is like my, my sort of journal record on my YouTube to say that we have to acknowledge the good things in life as well and that's what that's what I'm doing and it's like very often I worry about sort of age and I haven't sort of, I've just had my recently had my 26th birthday and I haven't necessarily, I suppose the best thing to say is I'm not where I wanted to be and I was looking online, worrying about different things and worrying about just worry, worry, worry. That's all you can hear me say, isn't it? And looking at different other people's perspective on sort of perspectives on um, different forms and things. And I came across this real powerful, powerful passage where it was a person who was actually terminally ill. And you know, this really stays with me all the time. I don't know them, but it, when you just read something like that online and they were... And it was this person who was expressing that um, I think it was something along the lines of watching everybody worrying about time. And actually this particular person, I know it was a woman who was in her situation and she was, I think she was terminal, it said that she was terminal of cancer and she had all these tumours throughout her body. And, and there was a phrase on there that people, and she said that people should, that they should, I think it was actually a swear word, that you should actually tell fear and anxiety you can imagine what was said, but just to get lost and get out of your life because you only have a certain amount of time on this earth and you should grab it with both hands and you should enjoy it and you should make it yours. And I think that coming from a perspective of somebody who was in that situation was just incredible. And you know, when I have my bad days, I sort of think to myself and I look in the mirror and I think to myself, even though I didn't know that poor person, through their kind of legacy, you you can grow and you can develop through other people around you and especially something like that so that has really changed my perspective so i'd say about the last week that's really made me feel much more positive as things as well and i'm really trying to concentrate on the small things and the good things in life rather than keep worrying day after day after day what if this doesn't go right what if that doesn't go right and of course it's horrible it's really really consuming and it really makes you feel quite down and flat so that's what i'm going to be doing and i've started i think it's going really really well and you know what? If you can make make good things happen in your life, if you think that you haven't had a holiday for a long time, for goodness sake, book some holiday, book some time off from work. Go and do something with the people who you love and those around you. Really, really do something or take a loved one or a family member or uh, or a friend or or your or your girlfriend or or whoever and and just 
and go for lunch. Be spontaneous. Go somewhere absolutely completely different. Take them out for dinner. Do something enjoyable, special. Make the small things important. That's what I'm really trying to concentrate on as well. So I'm great at it at birthdays and celebrations and Christmas and things like that. But everyday life? No, I don't concentrate on it. I'm always looking at the bigger picture. And that's really consuming. So yeah, I don't know. I always, when I when I talk about this on my channel, I always feel like a, a weight's been lifted from me, almost. And we, and I think with the things which, tools which I've got this week so far is that experience of looking at that lady's uh, passage which she wrote on that online forum. Really, really, really heartbreaking. But you can take so, so much away from it. So that I've got on my mind when I have sort of bad moments. I'm really worrying, concentrating on the bad things when I should be concentrating on the good things and sort of grabbing in and really, really running with life instead of keep worrying about small, and I can say the, the meaningless things. So from that lady's passage online, that's my first tool. My second tool is really, really concentrating and thinking that these things don't necessarily matter, which I'm worrying about. And actually the bigger picture will come in the end, but it's important to enjoy the journey along the way. And I keep having to remind myself of that as well. And then I suppose lastly is actually just taking a time with things as well. And I really keep trying to remind myself of that, that we don't have to run, run forward and be really, really quick and keep going and keep going and keep going because you can get so absorbed by that. And it really does affect your well-being and your mindset. So, yeah, so I would say absolutely. And really, really concentrate, really concentrating on the good things and making the good things count as well. So. That's my acknowledgement. That's sort of like I'm going to sort of I've got this in a hypothetical box now and I've put this onto one side. This is something I keep coming back to in my mind. And I just wanted to have this as like a journal clip on my YouTube. So thank you very much for watching. It really, really does help me. And if you are watching and you are in a similar situation, stay positive and really, really concentrate on the good things in life. Even if it's just the smallest thing like a treat for yourself or something huge and lavish like an exotic holiday. Do it. I keep telling myself that life is for living and no matter what age we are, it, it doesn't matter. I mean, it looks ridiculous, doesn't it? I mean, I've only just had my 26th birthday. I'm worried about age. Yeah, because I wanted to be somewhere where, where I'm currently not, but it doesn't mean I'm not successful. It really doesn't mean I'm not successful. That's what I keep telling myself. And the biggest over, overriding thing, which is just absolutely incredible, and I feel so so humbled and so grateful that I came across that passage online because uh yeah it really really has helped really has helped concentrate on the good things in life so thank you very very much for watching I hope you have enjoyed this clip as much as I have and it's like almost a weight lifted off my mind so until next time thanks very much for watching and remember concentrate on the good things because after all they deserve just as much as attention as those awful things which pester us in our life, those small things which we worry about all the time. So think good, positive thoughts and concentrate on the good in your life. We all have it there. Sometimes we've just got to look a little bit further and good things happen every day. Good things happen every day. Thanks very much for watching. We'll see you then. Bye bye now.